Hi there, welcome to your weekly werewolf report in this the year of the werewolf. We're gonna do a short one today folks because I've gotta be honest, I couldn't do the movie this week. I, <laughs> I've been watching The Sopranos, right? And it came time to sit down and play the Russian roulette with the werewolf movies and the Sopranos won. I decided to just keep watching The Sopranos because look, I love werewolf movies. I love entertaining werewolf movies. And with me, the thing is they don't even have to be good. As long as I'm enjoying myself, I'm having a good time. And this year has proven to me that not all of them are even fun. Some of them are just plain awful. And I wanted to watch The Sopranos. But with that being talked about, we'll get back to it next week, I promise. <laughs> I wanna talk about the third Wolf Hunt book, Wolf Hunt 3 by Jeff Strand. You know, this book was good too. This whole trilogy was so fast paced, high adrenaline, so much fun to read. I enjoyed this whole trilogy. I got a little, you know, ooh, because so the first book, the way the first book ended, it could have ended. The whole thing could have stopped. The way the second book ended, you knew. We're going to pick up where we left off right here. There has to be another book. If if I didn't know that it was going to be a trilogy, I would have known something was coming after the second book, the way it ended. And the way things went down in the second book, I had questions. I had questions on what was coming next in the third book, and they were answered. It's just, as a reader, you know, trilogies can be a little bit of a gamble because you get really hooked from that first book. That first book is setting up the world rules. You're getting to know your characters and it's the good ones. They're amazing. The first book is always kind of like the heavy hitter. The second book results can be middling. It's either still good, maybe not as good as the first one, or like in this case, it was still great. I like the second book almost as much. It, it, the difference is not a big difference in how much I like the first and second book. And then kind of typically, in my experience as a reader at least, the third book can kind of go off the rails a little bit. This is when we're having to do a mad scramble to tie everything together, to finish the story, to tie up loose ends, and it can get a little wonky and sometimes it's not that great. It is very typical for me as a reader to say, I just didn't like the third book. Now in this one, no, I still like the third book. Of the three, it is my least favorite. But again, it's not that big of a difference between one, two, and three. I like them all. We got a little, we did get a little crazy in this one. There were additions of things that were like, but it worked. That's the thing about Jeff Strand. He's so good at this. And I, I, I'm purposefully being vague on a lot of things because I don't want to spoil anything because I went into these completely blind. I knew nothing about them. I just knew werewolf. And reading about George and Lou, these thugs who, you know, when we meet them, they're actually, in the first book, their first scene, they're actually breaking a guy's thumb. <laughs> That's what they do. You owe, you owe our boss money. We've been hired to come here and break some things until you agree to pay. That's what they're, that's what they are. And they get mixed up in werewolf stuff. And it's so great because, okay, you know how in movies I've talked about how much I love that the various ways they shoot the full moon. That's a trope. That is something that is in, I have, I actually, of all of the established werewolf movies that have any sort of substantial budget, the full moon shot is always there, always there. Another trope in movies that it's not always great for me, sometimes it really gets on my nerves, is the research aspect. You hear we're dealing with a werewolf and somebody's always reading something and they look at the same sketches, the same pictures, every movie, it's the same kind of run through of these old wood carvings, these old sketches, book names. It's the same thing over and over again. And you know, you would think the moon would be getting old over and over again, but because it represents something 
And because there are so many different ways of shooting it, it doesn't bother me as much as the research one sometimes does. It doesn't always, but sometimes it does. And a great thing about this book <laughs> trilogy is it doesn't have that. This series is so fast and so frantic that it's not, hey, we're dealing with a werewolf. Let's stop and do some research. It's no time, no time, hit him with the chair. That's the way this goes. And it, they're so fun and they're so great. And the personalities of the characters are so goddamn fun. I, 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 I just don't know what else to say. I loved these books. Just loved, not liked, not just merely enjoyed. I am smitten with these books. These books, when I talk about werewolf books, are going to be some of the first that I mention to everybody from now on for the rest of my life. If I'm drawing breath, I'm telling people to read these books. That's how much I liked them. So if you haven't read them, please go get all three. I got all three of them for my Kindle um, in a bundle for pretty cheap, actually. I think they were on sale at the time, but I, I will be getting physical copies to put on my shelf because they, they need a hallowed place in my life. <laughs> and I don't know. I wonder where next week will take me. Hopefully it'll be as fun. I'm kind of looking forward to, um, not that these books aren't serious because they do get serious. They do get heavy. It's not all like, ah, it's all funny and wacky. Are we wacky? There's a little bit of that, but there's also some seriousness and the change in mood and weight is it's it's just nice to be taken through a story by a person who really knows what they're doing. That's how I'm going to say it. But I, I'm kind of hoping to get um, a serious book next week. I honestly don't know what's next. Uh, I've got a stack over here. I haven't looked. We'll be surprised, right? And I will be watching movies next week. We'll be back on that. And that'll be it. I want to thank you for always being here. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for recommending, um, reminding me of movies I'd forgotten about. I really appreciate that you're here every week. I really appreciate that you're involved because it, it does, it does the heart good to know I am not the only crazy werewolf person. It's good to know there are others like that out there. So until next week, that'll be it for me this week. Bye.